Hi Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this side stack card. It's hard for you to see with it laying down. But if I just tip it like that, you may not be able to see it. But it's sort of using the Lily Lake pad stamps it. And the waterfront stamp set for the scenery behind that's the lily pad and also peaceful reflections for this um what do you call them the ripples for the pond that's both of them the cards you will need you'll need a piece of oh i never got them out my bag hang on Right, you need a piece of, I'm going to use, here I used um, Pacific Point, but on this one I'm going to use Old Olive, so it's five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter. Um, a piece at, now I haven't wrote any of these down, two and a quarter by two and three quarters. This is for the inside. And three and three eighths by three and seven eighths. That's also there for the inside. For the front, I'm doing a black mat, which is four inches by three and three eighths. The white will be three and seven eighths by three and a quarter. For the steps, they're two and a quarter by one and five eighths. Two and a quarter by one and five eighths. So that will make the white two and one eighth by one and a half. This one is one inch by two and a quarter. So this will be seven eighth by two and one eighth. And the last piece is two and a quarter by one and one eighth. So this will make this an inch, one inch by two and one eighth. So that's the steps. All the um, birds and the lily pads and the re re reeds I've already cut out and done, but I will stamp one of each so that you can see what I did. Right, so we'll put that to one side and we'll cut the card first. That's what we'll do. So for this we'll need the trimmer. For this, put it in landscape at two and three eighths. So it's two and three eighths. Put that down. I don't need that one. Right. With your cutting blade, stick it at one and an eighth, uh, one inch. Let me stand up so I can see. Put it in at one inch. Oh, wrong way. <gasps> Portrait side. Nearly. Put the blade at one inch. And come all the way down to six and a half inches. And that's all you need, like that. All right, I don't like scoring on this, so I'm going to bring my scoreboard up and still stay standing. And you can see that. So, 
with the um, cut line the two and three eighths at the top of the scoreboard I am going to score this is the one inch side to the left so I'm going to score one inch to the cut line then I'm going to score one and five eighths to the cut line three inches to the cut line three and a half inches and five and three eighths that's all then right you can flip it over and score at four and one eighth but I don't do that because sometimes your card might not be exactly uh, that measurement wide. It might be out just a tiny, tiny bit. So for that, I just fold when it comes to that bit. As I don't want to be out. Right. Now I've got this. I know the folder on the wrong side but that doesn't matter with my bone folder I'm going to fold the first one in a mountain fold the second one in a valley fold the third one in a mountain the fourth one in a valley and the fifth one in a mountain And then I'm going to fold that down like that. And then fold these down. a little bit and that is your sidestep card I just want to make sure that all my measurements are correct especially these sidestep ones fine that one's fine if the blacks are fine then the whites are fine and that one's fine and the big one that should be all right now yeah so Furnish this a bit more. Right. 
and then burnish the ones underneath the step. Right, put these all, these little bits, oh no, I need the whites. Keep the whites and put all the blacks to one side. I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to put this in here. And what I'm going to do with a pencil, I'm going to just mark where the white would be on here. This is so that when I ink up the scenery, it all lines up like that. So, to start the scenery, we need our splodge mat, my brush, and a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to use balmy blue for the sky just dump it down close it up and with the brush pick up some ink I think you've seen me use these brushes before and I'm just going to go halfway down the page and just brush in the blue for the sky. You can do this with sponges or daubers if you want. I'm just choosing to use a brush. Could even use your brayer for this. So there's my sky. Nice blue sky, right? So the smaller bit, the one that matches that, I'm going to do this halfway in blue. Clean my brush off, clean my splodge mat, with a wet wipe off, So I'll dry it off with my hand and turn it over so I can use it straight away. And with soft sea foam, you can't see that colour very well, can you? Soft sea foam, oh, dump that on there. Bit needing that one again in a minute. All right, pick it up and colour the rest of the card in in the soft sea foam. Without folding up your card. Blend that into the sky, that's it. So that is one sky and sea. You can't see that because of the stupid sun coming through the window. You'll see it when it will all be put together. Right, 
go over the bottom of this one with soft sea foam right, I need to put some more on there I'll leave that open because we're going to use it in a second right soft sea foam on there and then we just cover these two with soft sea foam that's that one that in a minute. Let's do this first. Right, with the ripples, soft sea foam and the ripples, we just put one there and one there and it just gives like a wavy effect. Put that there and that there. Leave that to one side a minute. And then we'll just put random ripples on the water there. And with the round one, as if something's stacked inside, because that's what we need for the birds, put one on there and we have two there because we're going to have two birds. Clean the stamp. All right. So that's them. We'll finish with that. Right. With crumb cake. Oops, it's an old one, not a new one. We need these two together like that because we're going to put the mountains on. So put the mountains where the sea and the water meet. run it along both cards, pieces of card. Clean that. And then with old olive. Oh. I get so confused with them being old and new. We're going to just run a piece of grass or bit of land around there and around there. Right. Now with the old olive. We're going to stamp some down and we're going to add some grass to the bottom here Not, and all we're doing is tapping. So one good thing about this brush, you can tap, you don't have to sweep it. And we 
of, so I want to do that on the smallest one. Just put like, some grass on the the bottom. All right, clean my brush. And put it away. So we don't need any more of that. I know what we haven't stamped. We haven't stamped the sun. Clean this off. Put that in the bin now. Get rid of that. Right. Um, stamp the sun. I've got pepper dildo light here. And we're just going to stop that there. Do it again because it's not very dark. What I will do, just to blend that in a bit, is go around with the green that's left on the brush and brush it all in so it doesn't look so hard around the edges. Alright, last but not least, the sentiment. I have put friends make the good times better because they make friends with him and the hard times easier on the inside. So, and I just stamp that up in this corner. Like that. Clean it off. And the inside piece, which is here, I will stamp and the hard times easier. I'll just put that in the middle. Right. Let's get rid of this. Keep all them bits. And with some scrap of white, what scrap have I got? Just this. You want to stamp yourself three birds. I'm only stamping one. And, oh, I overstamped, but that doesn't matter. And three lily pads and that is all our stamping done now I coloured the birds well I never actually coloured the birds in all I did was went round them Bride and hold up. All I did was swim round them with. I never brought my blender pens out. All I've got is um, my marker pens, but I think I could do the same. Right, with the birds I have got here, I think this is Paul Party. It is. With the birds, all I did was go around a part of the head, the front of the body, 
on the edge of the, I don't know what you call this bit, his body as well I suppose, and just followed up the black feathered lines, coloured in his feet. That was all I did on that. I'm going to bring it down. Oh, wrong way. You can't see them because they're so light. There you are. That's all I did with that bird. With the flowers, I just coloured them all in pink. doesn't take two minutes, you just colour in each petal. <coughs> and then with pepper sauce, is this pepper sauce? Yeah. I coloured the two top ones. And I actually used my blends on the other one, so this would they would have been old olive light, and then with old olive dark, and this is old olive. I did the bottom one darker. That's all I did with my colouring, and also the reeds, which. There isn't a stamp set, but there is a die for them. I cut out seven, eight of them. Actually, I cut out loads of these for another card I made ages ago. never used them. So that's where I've got them from. And I just coloured them in old olive and soft sea foam around the edges. That's how I coloured them. I think I've got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. Eight of them. So, if they won't go to waste, I'll cut them out and put them in my maybe later box. That box is so full, I need to make them up. I need to do something with them. Right. All my backings and my glue. So let's glue all these on. Just a little black border around each one. Theatre of the glue. And the last one. these on a card. So that will go there. That one will go inside there. That one will go inside there. And this one obviously will go there. So let's put the far away one first. I 
Das ist schon ein... And then the last bit. No, it's not, is it? Last bit for the front. Alright. You put that open. And my if you put it flat, you'll see that the grass and the mount is a little bit lower on this one. But when you open it up, and let them, they are even. Place them down like that, you'll see that they're even if you're looking at them straight on. Right, let's put these inside bits in. bit there so you can write now you could write on that bit as well right now to decorate it with the birds I cut their feet off. I'm cruel, aren't I? But the feet are in the water, so you're not meant to see them. So we're going to have one there, and this one behind him, up there. And him there. We will have a lily pad on that side, and we will have a lily pad there, hiding these that they've got no feet. But that's what we will do. So I am going to open this like this because it makes it easier to ignore these down. Right, the birds have dimensionals on the back of them, so I need some dimensionals, right, large one and a large one on. Right, for the head, all I did was cut a thin strip off and cut it in three. And then just stuck it on his head. I've just remembered some of that. Right, if that one's going to be there and that one's going to be over it, we actually need to move this up there. That's better. Right, and then that one obviously will go on there. That's them sorted. 
Oh no, one of these has lily um, dimensionals on them. Just on the bottom. Right. Let's get these sorted. Right, we'll put the birds on first. This one down first. Sure, I've got that high enough up, yeah. And then this one, and we do put a bit of glue on his head. Now the reeds we hide the feet with. So what I did, I put three up here. And then I glued a lily pad down here. And the other lily pad first I've got to put some reeds near these feet. these lily pads and over the top like that. That looks quite nice doesn't it? Right, this one and I've put these on and they're not supposed to be on this one. I'm thick. All I did was glue his legs and the bottom of his tail. It could have come down a bit more on the mud. It's stuck now. And I glued a lily pad here. And these reeds. One in the inside. In fact, I'm going to put two as soon as I've got a spare one. And one on the front. lovely. So that is our card done, believe it or not. The hardest bit on this card is measuring it all out so that all your bits 
match up. This is my second attempt at trying to film this uh, card because um, the first time I did it I didn't have the front panels measured up properly for some reason. Don't know why. Um, just measured it all wrong. So that's this time. I'm pleased with it. Oh, bring it down a bit. Let's bring it in a tad more. No, in. That's the one we've just made. If you like this card, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And um, if you press the bell button next to it, you'll be notified of any more videos we upload. I upload. Which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and hope to see you again soon. Bye.